10 foods you would stop eating if you knew how they are made. A proper diet is the cornerstone of a healthy individual. When it comes to food intake, you should exercise caution all the time because some nutrients are way more harmful than they might appear. Check out the top 10 foods you'd stop eating if you knew how they were made. Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous and if you are doing as marvelous as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or... Today I want to talk to you about 10 foods you stop eating if you know how to remain. Number one, microwave popcorn. Now, it's not as healthy if you eat it out of a bag anymore, according to research. Because those bags, those popcorn bags, are often lined with a chemical called PFOS, that's perfluoroctane sulfonic acid. And this particular acid has been shown to affect everything from kidney malfunctioning to cancer to fertility risk. And this has been shown that studies have been conducted in humans and animals and they've seen that. So you want to really ditch that popcorn bag you know ASAP now if you go into the movies or your, your home make sure that you find another container to be able to you know enjoy your popcorn another thing here is that the pop the popcorn itself sometimes has trans fats right the manufacturers have put trans fats into the product and they will use words such as artificial flavors or natural flavors those also are not good so you might basically you know restrict or moderate your consumption of popcorn Item number two, margarine. Now, margarine is, a lot of folks think that it's it's very healthy because it's a supposedly made from vegetable oils and therefore has less cholesterol and uh, saturated fat than butter, right? Now, the thing here is that recent research has shown that margarine has been incredibly found to be high in salt and contains artery clogging trans fats. All right, so that's really not really healthy, right? You would agree with me because, as you know, trans fat as saturated fat increases the risk of heart disease and blood cholesterol levels. All right, so this is something you want to be very careful also when, when it comes to consumption. All right, sugar free candies, quote unquote, sugar free candies that's the third food that you would really want to ditch if you knew how they're made. Now, of course. You know the industry advertises these foods as you know sugar free but they contain those candies contain artificial sweeteners and the thing as you know the human digestive system is not really adept at breaking down sugar substitutes such as artificial artificial sweeteners and sugar alcohols all right so if you really overdo you know overdo those sugar free candies especially children you can actually incur stomach pains all right so i'm talking about when it comes to you know sugar-free candies you have a whole host of um i would say you know organic version a whole host of organic versions of the most contaminated foods what i'm trying to say here is that you know you can just ditch the sugar-free candy and instead eat something organic such as a fruit such as an apple, a nectarine, a strawberry, a, you know, some grapes, whatever. All right. Number four, eggs and conventionally raised chicken. Conventionally raised chicken is just, is just some of the worst food out there because a lot of crazy stuff goes on, on those non-organic farms. All right. I mean, you know, you, you have research has, a lot of research reports have shown traces of caffeine, Tylenol, Benadryl, arsenic, and even some banned antibiotics have been found in those farms. All right, and it, and the situation is so dire that the big the big names in the industry, especially in the fast food industry, such as McDonald's and Burger King, they are phasing out chicken raised with antibiotic. Okay, and and they are stopping their relationships with conventional chicken suppliers. All right, so the thing here is that. A safer and healthier bet would, would be to buy organically raised chicken 
farm raised chicken organic eggs right so basically you're trying to avoid things like salmonella right this is basically what it is so those four elements those four foods microwave popcorn margarine sugar-free candies and eggs and conventionally raised chicken are the top you know they're part of the top 10 foods you would stop eating if you knew how they're made i'll be right back with uh, six more number one Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still here talking about foods that you should really uh, stop eating or at least uh, restrict the consumption of. And uh, if you like the content we've been sharing with you so far, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you are notified whenever we drop a new mail, uh, a new mail, a new show. We do so every single day. And uh, comment below. Give us your experience. Are there other foods that you know of that we haven't uh, we haven't listed yet? Give us your opinion about the foods you would really, 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 really stay away from. Comment below. Share this content. We need to. Uh, this is a public health service. Think about it that way. And you want to share the, the video as much as possible and like the content. Food number five: processed meats. Now, the problem with processed meats is that they're made with nitrates. And nitrites all right so you really want to stay away from the deli counter here so I'm talking about everything from bacon to uh, salami to ham to hot dogs this is just made up this the, this foods are made up made of uh, processed meats and they can have up to 500% more sodium let me repeat that according to research they can have up to 500 percent more sodium and 75 percent more preservatives than unprocessed red meats all right and and, and the and the 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 great danger here is that you know all the cancer all the cancers that we've been talking about some of them have been uh, rooted some of them have been uh, linked to the nitrites and the nitrates all those chemicals found in the food so you want to really, really, really stay away from those, all right? Number six, conventionally grown apples. Again, we have some, some, the, the same kind of problems here. Anything that is not organic here, you have the, the big danger of pesticides, right? Because the industry, for a good or bad reason, use pesticides to grow regular produce, and those can affect can create a lot of neuronal problems a lot of mental problems they can affect the, the, the brain and damage the nervous system right research has linked the use of uh, pesticides to things like cancer right uh, lung irritation hormone hormonal disruption some eye problems right so you really want to be very very careful about that so remember that the pesticides used tend to stick around on fruits and veggies not all of them but some you know even if you peel them or wash them they're still there so the bottom line here is you want to buy if possible organic fruits organic apples number seven food number seven food category number seven baked foods made with potassium bromate so I'm talking here about bread crackers all kinds of foods such as bread and crack crackers they have been baked they have been made with potassium bromate now this is a, a chemical that is used to help the bread and cracker dough rise during the baking process all right now research has shown in certain countries that this potassium bromate has caused cancer in animal studies and in some countries in Europe, it's even banned. All right. So this is basically something that you have to avoid at all costs. Number eight, American cheese. Now, <laughs> you know, the, the, the weird thing, the weird thing is that people think people still think that American cheese is really cheese, but it's not cheese at all. You know, this is a factory creation of a cheese like food, actually. And basically they've added, they've blended things like food coloring, emulsifiers some whey protein milk fat solids so it's not really 
the real cheese. Now, is, is this not the cheese you would find, you know, in Europe? No. You know, and this American cheese is so high in sodium. I mean, it's high in sodium, it's high in fat. So, you know, this is something that is just not good for your cardiovascular system. And this is something you should really avoid at all costs. I'll be right back with the uh, next two and final items you should avoid at all costs. All right, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are about to wrap up today's show, and we want to uh, thank our millions of viewers and listeners in the United States and Canada, and even abroad, for their uh, their contribution, their uh, loyalty, their support, their feedback. We really appreciate it. Now, food number nine: muffins and corn tortillas made with propyl paraben. Now, propyl paraben is uh, is one of um, this is used generally to preserve corn tortillas and muffins now the thing here is that this is a very dangerous dangerous chemical because it acts like estrogen so it can throw your system out of whack basically the thing is it can mess with your fertility it can accelerate the growth of breast cancer cells according to some research so you know if you eat too much of a propyl paraben this is just not good for you especially here i'm talking to a female audience here but it also has an effect on male right if you if you have too much estrogen as a man this is not good also so think about you know reducing your consumption of muffins and corn tortillas number 10 regular soda and diet soda now <laughs> regular soda everybody knows that uh, you know soda is just very bad for for general health right um, we all know that it's loaded with sugar loaded with sugar so this is something you definitely need to uh, definitely need to to ban or at least uh, seriously consider reducing right um, if you take if you drink too much short uh, too much soda regular soda or diet soda for that matter you are at risk of developing diabetes some forms of cancer and other nasty medical conditions so you really want to stay away from that the Diet soda basically may not have the regular load of, of sugar, but they have this kind of soda has artificial sweeteners inside. So that's not even better because artificial sweeteners are also offensive. Those are chemicals, right? And the thing is that some of them have a more intense flavor than plain old sugar. So the thing is that research has shown that artificial sweeteners have been linked to uh, heart attacks pancreatic cancer premature birth uh, strokes tooth decay depression and the list goes on all right so this is something definitely you need to avoid so if this is it folks just wanted to quickly recap here what are the 10 foods that you should stop eating if you knew how they were made microwave popcorn margarine sugar-free candies eggs and conventionally raised chicken processed meats conventionally grown apples baked foods made with potassium bromate american cheese muffins and corn tortillas made with propyl paraben regular soda and diet soda now here's today's pro tip today's pro tip before i wrap this up never eat what you cannot pronounce honestly if you if you buy any kind of meat and uh, any kind of meat, any kind of food and you look at the label and you cannot you can't pronounce what's written there it's a good it's, it's a good indication you shouldn't be eating this thing in the first place all right i mean you know the industry is just loading the lo they just load the labels with uh, some kind of uh, you know chemical uh, jargon like you need to have a phd in chemistry to to read those but yeah, the bottom line here is that you know, if you can't read it, don't eat it. All right. I will talk to you another time and stay healthy and stay morally. <laughs>